This is just my latest project. It's a uh, F72 T12 uh, slimline fixture that I cut down from a uh, smashed F90, F96 T12 uh, fixture that I uh, place. It's the place where I get all those uh, big, huge cases of lamps and stuff. It was going to check it because, uh, I don't know if you can see some of the hammer marks there. This entire bit of it was all dished in, so it took a lot of beating on it with a hammer. But I was able to uh, get it back to some semblance of a, uh, of a, a 90 degree bend. And then just uh, screwed in the... Uh, uh, lamp holder retention plate here, and uh, this is, and um, I just put in the uh, little slimline lamp holders because this takes uh, F72 T12 slimline lamps. Now these are just some uh, F72 T12 uh, GO uh, Sylvania GTE gold lamps that I got a full case of uh, some years back with the intention of building a fixture like this. Because I got these lamps for less than a buck each, and normally. 25 times that, so not all in all too bad. See, that's what the, and that's not as bad as the rest of it, that's what the original end piece of the fixture looked like. It's your fairly cheap Mexican Lithonia uh, roll formed uh, channel stock fixture. I mean, just dinky little crap compared to my uh, 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 World War Two vintage uh, F40 T12 uh, preheat uh, shop lights that I've got out in the garage, but of course those things are almost 70 years old and they still work. This definitely not with the crap uh, Chinese uh, Acupro electronic ballast. Because as soon as I get a two lamp F72 T12 uh, ballast, I will be replacing that. And just to show that the thing actually works, yes, I know the shop's a mess. Need to clean it. But, let's see, boom, and it lights. Yeah, because it has my really choice temporary connection. That's just, uh, that's just provisional so I can test the fixture. And also this bit will be covered up. I just need to punch a hole in the end of the uh, cover, which I've already cut down. Other than that, this is, uh, pretty much finished and I need to make a um, intake. But other than that it's pretty much done. And I'm probably just gonna screw in some sheet metal start.